evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi guys, my name is Mark Watson and I'd like to welcome you to the Roland YouTube channel and I'm very excited today to show you through the brand new Roland FA series workstations. These awesome machines come in two models. We have the 06 which is right here in my hot little hands. This is a 61 note keyboard and then there's the FA 08 which is an 88 weighted keyboard. These workstations are well laid out, well designed and really easy to get around. They are built on heritage sounds from Roland with Jupiter, SH, XV and all of those synths at your fingertips. There is a non-stop sequencer which means that your workflow is not going to stop. You can keep building on your song without stopping and pausing your sequencer and there is a built-in sampler so you can trigger your own sounds as well as import them. Okay, let's have a look at some of the great sounds that are built into the Roland FA series. There's 2,000 sounds and they're broken down into three different categories. There's the supernatural sounds which come from the Integra, PCM sounds which comes from models like the XV5080 and then there's also the wave expansion sounds which you can download from the actual website. So without any further ado let's have a look at some of these great sounds starting with the grand piano. Really good uh, acoustic sound, it, it responds very, very well. And uh, I'm going to look now at the electric piano. This is called uh, 76 Pure, obviously based on a Fender Road sound. And you can hear the tines being hit by the hammer on this one. That's great, really good sound and great response. Classic guitar I'm going to show you, again supernatural sound, but this also shows you performance modelling as well, so you can hear the musician sliding his finger up the frets of the guitar. A lot of the uh, supernatural sounds all respond differently depending on the instrument, it's a great uh, thing to play. So let's look at some of the PCM sounds as well, these are sample based sounds that come from classic synths from Roland. Big fat Jupiter 8 sounds, really juicy and super sores as well. The drums in these babies uh, comes in two categories as well. You have supernatural sounds based on V drum technology and also the PCM sounds. So let's have a look at some of the supernatural sounds. big fat sounds, and then you go to the PCM sounds, things like uh, some 808 sounds, 909 sounds, there's tons of them there. So the third category is the wave expansion category, and with this category you can actually go online to the Roland Axial website, and there's a ton of extra synth sounds that you can download and put it into your keyboard. A really good way to expand your palette for creating more sounds. Right, let's take a look at the keyboard layout. So with the keyboard layout, obviously at the moment I've just got a piano selected. If I hit split, we can have two sounds either side. So that will give me a piano on the top and I've selected strings on the bottom. And then if I hit dual, that will layer both sounds right across the keyboard.
Which brings us to the third keyboard mode, studio sets. This is old technology that Roland have brought back, which I'm really happy to see. What it does is it gives us 16 channels on the screen, which you can use to sequence your songs and your different instruments can be called up and you can play them back on your different MIDI channels. You can also use studio sets to create massive patches. So you can assign all those layers to the keyboard and put different sounds together to create a wall of sound. Great big landscape. Let's have a listen. Let's move on to the effects section. So there's 67 Roland multi-effects units that you can choose from to be assigned to your sounds and also to your different channels when you're sequencing. Each channel has its own effect, which is great. So you can have so many different effects on different sounds happening at the same time. Plus the 68th hidden one is an extra vocoder. So you can put a microphone in there and sing along and play and it will make that classic vocoder sound. There's also something new called TFX that Roland have introduced into these keyboards. This stands for total effects and these are assigned to the output of the keyboard. So with the total effects, it gives you things like master compression and filters and loopers and DJ effects as well. So with these, you can create this sort of a sound. So that's on the master output, that one's called filter plus drive and that is a typical sort of breakdown filter sequence that would be used by a DJ or something like that. So that's on the master output. That is the effects wrap up. So we're gonna move on now to looking at the multifunction pads. These little babies over here are obviously set up for triggering samples. Um, when you're triggering samples, there's 16 pads there. There are four banks by the way, so you can actually wade through a whole plethora of samples there that you can use. But if you go into pad utility and pad mode, I can actually reassign these pads to do different things like part select, muting your different channels on your mixer and soloing your different channels on your mixer, as well as um, numeric input and selecting different um, parameters when you're programming sound. So these are very uh, conveniently used to be able to operate different parameters within your keyboard. So that does bring us to the sampler. So the sampler is really great. It's so easy to use. You can s record anything that you're performing live on your keyboard or from the sequencer or loop that you've put together. You can also record something into the inputs on the back here from a guitar, for example, or a microphone. There's a smaller jack input there to be able to record something from an iPod. Then we have the SD card input. So with the SD card input, you can import from your door, your computer, your collection of WAV files, etc import it into the keyboard and then assign it to one of the pads here. So let me show you how quick and easy it is to sample something into the sampler. So let me select sample. I will select a pad, hit auto trigger and then just play a little riff and hit stop. It's now assigned to this pad. Sampling at its finest, easy. Okay, now let's have a look at sequencing. The sequencer built into these babies is great. It's got a fantastic new thing called non-stop loop recording, which means that you can keep the loop going around and add an audition as you're ready. I'm also going to incorporate a sample in this that I've sampled before and use the rhythm pattern as well. There's heaps of facilities, heaps of editing and lots of things that you can use, but at the moment I'm just going to show you how it works in the real world. So I'll push record. We get the metronome counting us in. I'm selecting automatic rhythm to start and let's go. Okay, so I take it out of record mode, which makes it easy for me to go and audition another sound. Okay, we'll go with that one, that sounds good. Put it back into record mode and away we go. Okay, let's select another sound. And I'll actually, at the same time, bring in my sample. Yeah, we go. 
can keep on building on that and building on that, auditioning and recording as we go and creative. Very creative way to record your sequences. And that is the fabulous sequencer built in to the FA06 and the FA08. So that brings us to door integration. So for your digital audio workstations, the FA via USB can communicate by exporting individual wave tracks of everything that you've recorded um, and also MIDI as well. So to be able to export all of your recordings into your door, fine tune them in there and then bring them back for live performance is a really excellent thing to have. There's also the facility to control your door through USB. It's got templates for Logic, Cubase and Cakewalk. So there's seamless integration for your door and uh, that makes it another ideal instrument for your home studio. Thanks very much for watching guys. Look, the FA is a great keyboard. It's well laid out, it's intuitive, it's creative, it's fat, it's great for performance. Just go on out and try one, go and have a look and have a play, you will love it. I'm Mark Watson for the Roland YouTube channel and thanks for listening.